Hello everybody, I'm Master of this, and welcome to another part in our Let's Play as the Great Kebab in the Great War mod. When we last left off, we were just about done killing uh, the Russians over at Moldova, and we're probably going to push on to conquering their other cities in Odessa as well as in Kiev, which would probably be the cream of the crop, so to speak. Now, in terms of conquering Greece, I don't think we're going to do that quite yet, as from what my spy has told me before in the past, there's a ton of rifle infantry, and we don't even have... I don't know, half of this page filled up with rifle infantry. And honestly, I don't think the one light howitzer that we do have is actually going to make a difference. So, you know what? We're going to come back to Greece one day. First, we're going to focus on the Eastern Front against Russia because I feel like that's the most important one since he is a fuck ton more stronger than me. So, we're going to need to actually focus on him. And we're going to have to beat down the bear, so to speak. Cause him to have a little bit of a dirt nap. And then afterwards, we'll focus on Greece by ferrying our troops from Odessa all the way to Athens. And that should be pretty much it. So, let's focus on the Eastern Front. And something I just actually realized is that we can now trade with our allies, which is pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Should really get Ottoman military tradition probably sooner rather than later. But first and foremost, let us trade with our allies. Open negotiations with the Germans. And let's go trade technology. They do have a trench warfare, which we could trade away, but we're already about to research it, so there's no point. They have petroleum acquisition, rigid airships, implementation of mortars. I would actually like that. Yeah, I would like re-implementation of mortars or mass production. In fact, probably mass production. Can you give me mass production? Ooh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, I'll give you a payment of... For 10 turns, $1,000. How would you like that, huh? How would you like... Actually, no, 500 How would you like that, huh? How would you like that? We'll send you a proposal. Oh, never mind. Never mind, they think of us as weak. Well, we could probably just go ahead and look at everybody's deck. See what they have. They have Trench Warfare. Uh, we have TNT at War Bond, so God bless. But they do have Trench Warfare. They have mass production. What are these military traditions? I don't have any of these. Maybe we should get some military traditions. Are you at war with me? You are not. Good. We request peace. What a douche. What are, what's your name? Charl Carlos XIII? Yes, that's right. I don't know how to read Roman numerals. Stupid dead language. Anyway, let's see. Sophia, two turns away. Trench Warfare, six turns away. We could probably research motor technology soon, which is good. We should probably go from Ottoman military tradition, whatever that is. Okie dokie, so these guys are going to chill out. We should probably get some troops from Bucharest over to reinforce our guys at... Oh, we'll exempt this from taxation so we don't have too much of a rebellion going against us. We'll send some guys from Bucharest over to support our troops at Moldova, just in case something bad happens. Alright, that's pretty much it. Economy is shit. Military is terrible. Fighting against a greater power. All around, pretty bad stuff. And some pretty good stuff. We do have a lot of legroom to sort of change up our Lego pieces and try to Shrek the Great Bear. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It can all go down. It can all go down in a blaze of glory for us. One that will echo through the ages. Or we can all die. That's that's another possibility. Either way, we're taking down the Russians with us. Okay, I need you to scout the Russian territories. I need you to check out the Russians, figure out where they are. And we need to plan our attacks accordingly. They are still stationed at Odessa, correct? No, they're not. Odessa is empty. Weird. Hey, can you, um... Can you not be super douche, Mr. Conscripts? Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. Don't attack my farms. I need to eat. Screw you. Get stabby stabby by my scimitar. So you tend swordfish for it. All right, are you moving? Yeah, you're moving your butt. That's good. Move your butt. Move your butt, girl. 
Alright, so the Greeks aren't attacking us, so that's either good or bad. Good, because, hey, they're not attacking us. That's awesome. They must have forgiven us for butchering their people. It's bad because they might be actually planning for just that. So you know what? You never know what's going to happen. Those Greeks, man, don't trust them. Don't trust them. First, they fool you into thinking that they have a horrible economy, and then, bam! The great master, Alexander the Great, will rise from the ashes of death. And then afterwards, resurrect themselves to become, I don't know, some sort of demigod and just destroy everybody. Oh, centralization. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I get Ottoman military technology, whatever the hell that is. And go ahead and get me a small barracks in this city over here so that we can try to get some better troops. Where are you guys going? Still an army in Odessa, but right about now I feel as though we can probably march on to this city and we can probably conquer it. Right? Yeah, we can do it. If we get out, could if we exempt this from taxation. Just for a turn. Put you on taxation, right? No. Wow. You really don't like us, Bucharest. So how much money are we gaining? 246. Wow. Why don't you like us, Bucharest? Why don't you ever like us? Work with me, homeboy. Work with me. Oh, I can conquer this right now. Go, 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 go. Ah. ah yes. Okay, I'll resolve. There we go. The conquest of the great Russian city is now mine. For the taking. And we're probably going to lose this city. Because there's a Russian force over there. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to probably go ahead and maybe just loot it. Yeah, let's just loot the city. Yeah, look at that army. Good god, that is massive. Russians are probably pretty pissed that we conquer them. Oh, like, yo, what the hell are these auto derps doing? Conquering us. How dare we let them do this? How dare we? Are we not bears? Or are we just otters? Oh, look at that. We can tax the city now. How? Why? Why, why can we now tax the city? That's, that's weird. Whatever. We're gaining some gold from it, which is good. I'm not going to question it. I am instead going to question the fact that we're about to get trench warfare, and yet we don't have mortars. That's bad. I made a terrible mistake. Hopefully, it won't bite me in the katusha. I'm just going to save up my money so that I can probably go ahead and get out some rifle infantry. Oh, and let's burn the fuck out of his city over here. Let's make this city horrible. Yeah, you know what? Let's increase taxation here. Can we do that? Can we just... No, oh, no. Never mind. Let's not do that. I don't want Istanbul to revolt. Okay, I can't change the individual taxation of this region. But what I can do is burn down the city, which is good. Well, not burn down the city, but burn down the buildings in the city. Okay, this one army is going to be a problem. I feel like we can do it. We can definitely crush them. Those Ruskies won't see it coming. Ah, it's the super dreadnought of the French. No, you ate the Germans. You bastard. Germans. How are you today? I hope everything's going very well in Frankenfurter land. Letters of demand. Well, that's that's all fine and dandy, but I don't really care. I don't really care at all. But your letters of demand. You charlatan. Look at all the shit he's building. Whoa. Rush has been busy. Okay, it's time to swiggity swiggity my way out of there. Peace. Let me go over here and just check out this city. 
What's over here? Tons of dudes. Tons of dudes. Right, I forgot. Get back off you. And you can go back as well. And let's get this city on taxation. Duty. Heh. <laughs> Duty. 1,000 gold a turn. Pretty nice stuff. Still researching tech. At least we could get Odessa pretty soon. Hey, and we did conquer this city, so that's awesome. We made some gains. We did make some gains. I have to say, that is impressive. I didn't think we would actually conquer the city. Looting it maybe might have hurt him in the long run, but you know what? That's okay. He can handle the rebels. He can handle all the rebels, girl. I hope that rebels come for him. I really do. Now, I want to get some cargo ships to set up the trade routes, but I feel as though they would give me so little money that it would be negligible. Russia, why are you converging onto my peaceful auto derp lands? That's that's not very not very nice of you, not very nice at all. We didn't do anything to deserve this. Come on now, we're the sick man of Europe. We're trying to get the cure for the common cold. You're snatching it away from us. Ah, uh, ultimate military technology. Is riot? Is there a rebellion here? So the Russians can deal with that. No, there isn't. Fuck. Okay, now we have Ottoman military technology. What does this mean exactly for me? What, like, what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it do? Like, do I get super Ottoman chirp, uh, uh, troops now? Did I say chirps? Chirp, chirp. Chirp, 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 like a bird. All I know is that we can get rifle infantry. Oh, no, no, wait. I should get not outdated rifle infantry, but standard rifle infantry. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Uh, from here, I can get machine gun bunkers. I will, however, need to get some better tech, though. What's my eco doing? Shit. Okay. How do we fix that? Well... We could get a municipal administration. That can work. Could. I don't think it should. Um. It is a difficult choice indeed. A village would also help, but I don't know if I can actually hold down this territory. Especially with the great bear sending his forces down to us. We have to fix our economy somehow. Might just save up money for factories. It definitely will depend. I'm just gonna hold out with some cash to spare, I guess. Will I be able to build mortars? Yeah, I will. Okay. So that's good. No matter what, I can build mortars, which is fine. Russia, what are you planning? What are you planning, Russia? Huh? Huh? Whoa, 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 Russia! How dare you attack my fields! I need those farms to feed my people! Make you starve. Starve. You savage. You know. We don't care about your city, Russia. You can take it. The point here is for me to waste time. That is the only reason why I have dudes there. I don't think you realize this yet. Whoa, that's a lot of words at once. But don't worry, victory. 
Okay, repair the farm. It's going to take us a couple of turns. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Oh well. Exempt this from taxation for a turn or two, and then afterwards we can move in our conscript force to go ahead and attack with this side. Just kind of annoy Russia right now. That's the whole plan. Annoy Russia. And don't stop. Whoa. Where are my mortars? Oh, they're still researching. Alright, I need you to get probably mass propaganda. No, mass production. Good. Good, good, good. I now have... Oh, Netherlands. How are you doing? Netherlands, let's talk. Let's talk for a minute. What do you have that I want? Why? Give me free tech, please. Please, I'll give you... Listen, I'll give you trench warfare. If you give me mass production... Oh, I have to... I have to ask for it. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to basically force them to give me it. Okay. I love how my power is feeble. It's like, oh, look at this guy. He can't get it up at night. Can I just threaten him? Fuck. Of course. He knows I'm feeble. <laughs> he knows it. Okay, let's just get... The old rifle... No. Let's just get the new and improved rifle infantry. Let's get four units of them. No, 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 no. Get rifle infantry. And then afterwards, we'll save up some money for mortars. And that should allow us to kill the Russians. I don't know. It's a plan. Except this this uh, province from taxation for now. But later on, that won't be the case. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? There's a lot of Ruskies. There's a lot. Whoa. What are y'all doing over here? Around my sweet territory. You know, these rebels over here, you're going to have to deal with them. I'm just saying, they're not my problem anymore. You can take this city. Why aren't they just conquering the city? I left the entire city all exposed. They can just march in and take it. There's only armed citizens, and they don't really know how to fight. Okay, maybe they can hold a Klashnikov here and there, but that, that doesn't count. Okay, I'm just going to go in hot. Ah, charge. Flamethrowers, huh. You know what? I think it's time we fight on the open battlefield. It's Girete Esta versus Ivan Dobchev. In the Battle of Odessa, 1915. Okay, men. Gather your dongers together and listen up. There's a flamethrower squad. It's going to roast us alive like chicken. Be careful. He's deadly. Is that the flamethrower squad? No, that's a light infantry. The sixth light foot. I just have conscripts. Look at me. I'm an auto derp. Okay. There's the light infantry's over there. That's it. Where's the flamethrowers? I don't know. This actually scares me. Like we can fight these guys. Oh, look at that. He led us right into a trap. And the armed citizens. We've shaken the bomb beehive. I repeat. Shaken the bomb beehive. Where's the flame? Throwers, however. This is pretty bad. Those flame throwers can come out of nowhere and just roast us alive. A burnt kebab. Do not want a burnt kebab. It's nasty. Oh, here comes Braveheart. No, Gibson, we need to talk. You are not allowed to charge into the open fields and scream out freedom. Refuse to allow this. 
great auto dirt empire. The mob will rise again, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring things up a notch. To the world, baby. Oh, he could take the punishment. Don't worry. A knife. They have a lot of balls. Big cojones. Dude, where's your flamethrowers? Your firebenders. Like, where are they at, girl? Did you just lie to me? Huh? You know what? I'm sitting in my entire horde after you. How am I losing slightly? How? I have three units firing at you, I Unleash hell! Go, Cosgrips, go! Why do my Cosgrips have the funny white hats? Turbans, Terminators. Yet they don't have the fezes. Do none of my units have the fez? Come on now. Who's your fez spirit, huh? Flamethrowers yet. Nope. Still nothing. It's an only an eight man squad, so not big. So do me a favor and go to Jahannam, okay? Thank you. Please don't gain any more Chevron ranks. We, we don't need you alive. Godspeed, Godspeed. Keep firing, keep firing, yes. Turn them into Swiss cheese. Oh, there's a flame curse. Hello, flame curse, how are you today? Oh, wow, there's a flame curse. Wait, hold on. I, I gotta look at this for a second. Where's their flame tank? They just have the gas mask and the knife, and that's about it. Oh! They're dead now, so I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, everybody, let's just crush this dude. Yep, there we go. He should run into us, and then afterwards we're just gonna stab him in the face. Awesome! A glorious victory has been gained by us. A heroic victory indeed. 581 losses, that's okay. We took over this wonderful place. Predicted region wealth. We could capture it. In fact, let's peacefully occupy because I feel like we could take we could hold this territory. I feel like we can. It's doable. Manageable. Maybe. Maybe. Stop exempting this from taxation, and now we're gonna get a couple of dosh. All around pretty darn sweet. And alrighty then, so. We finally have Odessa. This is pretty good. The rebels over here are just gonna chill out for now. I'm not sure if they're actually going to attack the Russians when they're done besieging my city. But hey, the Russians are being dumbasses. I like that. It's pretty good. And we have a cargo ship, finally. And I really do want to delete it. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. We'll just go ahead and hook up this territory. Because I feel like they really don't make much of an impact. Our upkeep right now, however, is excruciatingly high. Our army upkeep. What's our strength like? What are we? Are we strong yet? Prestige. Respected. Hmm. Okay. We're respected. Alright. Little Tartar loves us. It's good. Good. Give us more food, please. Let's delete the training grounds here. Because we don't need it. What I'd really like is probably a 
economic building. So you know what? I'm gonna end this part off here. When we come back, we're going to hope that the rebels strike the Russians and continue to attack the Russians. Attacking every single city that they own and following up our Blitzkrieg with more and more and more conscript spam. Soon we will figure out how to beat those machine gun bunkers. But for now, we just have to keep on attacking, keep up the pressure, don't stop, never stop dancing. And soon we will be able to get the machine gun corpse, which is pretty good. All around, things are looking pretty nice. We just need to keep up the pressure and destroy his massive armies. And once we do that, we can snowball out of control and just conquer the Russians outright. Now, the Greeks, they will have to sit a little bit on the sidelines for now because we have to focus on the Eastern Front. It's just way more important. And for good reason. Like, our entire empire is open to attack by the Russians. So, you know what? I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.